Hey guys, RaceCage20 here, and we are back with our last classic raid. Today we are going to be tackling the ruins of On, as if you watched the other, the Temple of On, or no, we'll be doing the Temple of On, sorry. If you watched the ruins of On, you'll notice that I don't say the full name, because it's a weird-ass fucking name. So, again, it's down here in Silithus, or at the, all the way at the bottom of Kalimdor, and the ruins... Or the temple is over here to the side, to the left, and the ruins are to the right. The ruins are a lot easier to find, but this place is not difficult to find by any means necessary. Look at it, it's so cool. <laughs> I don't think that's the final boss. That I don't even think that's the final boss. No, it's not the final boss. That's weird. Alright, so. This place is real confusing. Like, it's, it's pretty damn confusing. Oh, it's just the first boss, right? I remember that. Um, but I think I've got it pretty well figured out. It's just, once I get to the final boss and beat him, I don't know how to get out. So, it's, it's fine, because I get, this is my last, last, uh, raid to do. So I can just teleport out, you know, hearth back. But I still don't know how to get the fuck out of here once I'm in, <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, frost spell power by 20, that makes sense. Uh, I guess I'll keep that in there for the money. Alright. So now we got the first boss down, the real place begins. You come into this area, and we gotta go underground. Uh, the final boss is right here. Uh, and I believe we can, we could get to him right now, I think? Alright, maybe we have to kill all the bosses first. But this little girl right here is going to be the key to getting there. So, a little gnome right there. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that right now. We do want to go underground and start taking out all the bosses. Uh, this bad boy is not a boss, but I'm going to kill him anyways because he looks all boss-like. It, it emits a strange noise. Well, there's a lot of creatures here that make weird noises. What makes you any different? So then you come down here and head down and around or this is the final boss I don't I don't know it's one of the two is it oh I think that one up top was the boss we already beat yeah that's where we're headed yeah that was the first boss right there so yeah the final boss actually is this one right here but we can't get to him right now uh, instead we're going to head down and kill all these bosses every single one of these bosses, which actually takes a while to get to, as annoying as it is. Alright, I'm going to ignore them for now, take a, about half my health, around, you know, 60k, and go for the next boss up in here. I don't know who it is. These are guardians, I'm guessing, yeah, it's these two homies on his little pet, I guess. So let's take them out. I have low health because... Of the uh, little brutes, huh? Where's your friend? There he is. He's big. Oh my! Fuck! What the fuck? Now I'm teleporting back up in here. All right, defeat him. I'm just gonna air with these guys down because I don't care about them. And let's loot, loot, loot. We got some, got some chain gear. Oh yeah, I threw a bunch of stuff away, so it's gonna be up here. Some waste, some plate. This looks like a good place for plate gear already. Alright, there's a special boss in here that I guess we'll head towards first. Yeah, I guess we might as well get that out of the way unless we can't get back this way. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I don't remember how to get out through there. Uh, that we actually can defeat. That a lot of people can't actually defeat unless you have a mage, a shaman, or a death knight. I believe those are the only ones that can actually beat this boss. And I'll explain a little more about what I'm talking about when we get there. This corridor that we're about to walk through is annoying because there is just a bunch of mobs around here that uh, keep spawning, and they're annoying. But since I have no use for them, we can just AoE them down and get out of here. Because we already have way too much loot in my bags from the last dungeon, or last raid, so it just try to skip past a bunch of them. I cannot go that way. I have to go past this way. Damn it. Alright, let's start popping. Just keep cat spamming it so it'll do a lot of damage. 
Alright, perfect. Alright. Got through the annoying part, now we can go for the next boss. This weird looking fairy motherfucker <laughs> is the next boss. Uh, like most of these raids, I have no idea how they're supposed to be done. Because <laughs> I don't know of any footage to where you can actually see them being done with the whole group, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere. So what do we get? We got some more plate gear. Yeah, this place is looking absolutely amazing for plate gear. Uh, those look cool. Okay, maybe not. They <laughs> look a little weird, actually. And this place is also annoying because there's like a million of these workers, and if you attract a million of these drones, if you attract one of these big guys, a whole group of them are going to come at you. And we're managing to... Oh, God, no, don't walk towards me. Don't walk towards me. We're managing to dodge a lot of them, which is good. I went the wrong... Oh, no. I'm good now. It's like, I went the wrong fucking way. So that's zippity zappity. Ah, fuck, we attracted one of them. Alright, let's spam. No spam. And these, I believe the drones keep coming back to life, but the big guys don't, so. If you start clearing, well, you have to clear them, so you actually, if you're coming through here at a lower level, you actually have to kind of move when you get through here. Alright, let's... I think we didn't draw anyone else. Let's try to slip through here undetected, or as a, as undetected as we can get through here. I can actually move at 90% uh, speed because this place doesn't count as underground for some reason, and I can actually move, mount up down here. So that's awesome. Now, this guy. This is the next boss. Looks looks almost identical to the boss that was in the ruins, but. Whatever, let's fight this fool. Dead. Boss dead. Of course he's gonna track to all his little drone. So there's that drone. And we can head over to the uh kind of optional boss and kind of special boss. So I fought this boss on my druid. And I literally got him to one health and he would not die. At all. And so while I was attacking him, since he was doing no damage to me. I went, I went, I went online. And I looked up, like how the, f well, I didn't type in how the fuck, but I was like, how do you kill this guy? And I looked it up, and literally this guy cannot die to anything but frost damage. So if you don't have something that does frost damage on your team, you can't kill him. You literally will not kill him, and you just have to walk away. So I'll show you because I'll be able to get him down low enough. Actually, it's some decent damage. So as you see, I can't kill him at all. He won't die unless you hit him with frost damage, which I did. I thought frost damage was supposed to kill this guy, and it's not. Does this not count as frost damage? Maybe you have to keep frosting him. Oh, you begin to crack? Okay, yeah, you have to freeze his ass. It looks ready to shatter. You gotta keep hitting him. Okay, yeah, you have to keep sh hitting him with frost damage until he freezes and eventually dies. So yeah, I was about to be like, did it fucking lie to me? I can't kill him again. But no, we're good. We're good. Uh, gauntlets, some nice chain looking gauntlets. Uh, oh, I got another mount, or not mount, a pet, and what well, looks like some more soulbound gear. I don't know how those work. Or not soulbound gear, uh, it looks like some tier gear, like tier, tier one kind of shit. <laughs> I actually don't know what tier one would be. I assume these guys are one. So yeah, that is an optional boss right there that you cannot beat, um, without frost damage because you have to freeze him and shatter him otherwise he will not fucking die <sighs> it's ugly but it is the truth um, but he in no way hinders your progress to getting to the final boss you don't have to kill him to get to the final boss I actually don't know if you have to kill any of these guys to get the final boss but I assume you do otherwise what what's the point of doing a whole raid if you can just go straight to the final boss but then then again, they all do drop gear, so I guess that would be the point, but still, I think it, it would be silly. I assume that's how it has to be. I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think Blizzard would be that crazy even back in the day, so I'm pretty sure you have to kill all these, these bosses to get to the final boss. And then once you get to the final boss, once again, like I mentioned, I have no idea how the fuck you get out. 
I'm not gonna correct any of these uh, crates because I don't care about the scarab shit. I just don't. I'm gonna just throw it all away. Here's the next boss, Princess Hukhan, <laughs> or however the fuck you pronounce that. Should be an easy kill, like all the other ones. Pretty much. I mean, if you when you can one hit all of them, you don't have to worry about anything, any special abilities. Oh, I was pushing the wrong button. <laughs> because. They just they they don't stop and do something some weird quirky shit. They just die. They just instantly die. So you don't have to worry about it. Look at this big motherfucker. <laughs> That's ruin his day. My damage did not do much. Oh yeah, and then there's these mounts that you can use in here. Um, that you can collect. Not my heirloom mounts. Like this guy. It's pretty much just different colors of them. I have every single color that I know of. Because I got, I got an achievement for getting a specific color of them or some shit. I don't know. So I don't need this and it doesn't sell for anything. But you have to delete every single one of them. Which is annoying when you start collecting a bunch of them. But they can only be used in this dungeon. And maybe the the ruins as well. I don't think so. But maybe. But yeah, they can only be used in this, this raid. It... It's no real point to it unless you were like level 60 and you do these raids all the time. Be like, hey, look, I got this one, and you know, show that shit off. This one's a little special. I think you have to take out these two guys or some shit, and then the eye or some some something. I don't know. Yeah, this yeah. is pretty much the eye of the final yeah. boss. That's why it's named the Master's Eye. Ah. Uh, but these, yeah, I think it's that these guys just at, take turns taking like no damage. I think they either become immune or some shit like that, and they also slow you, they heal each other. It's it's a whole thing. Uh, let's maybe we some these guys down. I don't know what's going on here, but let's oh god damn, they're so annoying. Yeah, these are the only bosses that are actually kind of difficult in this place. If you can believe it. Uh, you just have to attack the right one, I believe that is taking damage or some shit like that. I think now it's this one. It's pretty much what everyone's looking at you. Uh, it's some of my wolves up in here because I can. Okay, there's one down. Uh, let's spray them all AoE. Uh, I think I killed one of the bosses with it, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, yeah, that, that one is really annoying, and I, I can't even imagine how this would be done with a group, but I'm assuming this is like the one that they all dread. This is the boss that everybody dreads, I would assume. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got some more uh, enchanting stuff. Uh, some more of this tier 1 gear, I, I would assume. I don't fucking know what it is. That sword is pretty bitchin' though. One-handed sword? Two, oh, two-handed sword. I'm gonna keep that little buddy for me. Some transmogrification up in this bitch. And head over to the last, or second to last boss, technically. And then we can head in and go for the final boss. Let's get over here. So I think the plan that I've been doing uh, to cancel every video, or cancel, in the video after every boss is actually working really, really well. Because I am... Because, uh, I mean, it reduces the chance of me losing any footage. Which, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, if you didn't watch my other ones leading up to this, it's in my uh, Molten Core video where I explain how I often lose footage because my computer is old, is old as shit and crashes all the time. And when it's crashing when I'm recording a World of Warcraft, I lose every second of the footage that I was recording. So, cutting after every single boss, while it's taking up a lot of parts, not a lot of space, but a lot of parts, is not that big of a deal. It uh, it makes it so I'm not losing any footage at all, and I don't have to be nervous about doing raids. So I believe you walk over this guy to activate him, activate the boss. He actually has quite a lot of health for a uh, level 60 boss, I would, I would say. Uh, let's do some good damage there. Walk in, start storm striking, bam. Done. Yeah, this guy dropped this last time too. I don't know what the fuck this is. Paladin Hunter and Shaman. Warlock Druid. I don't know what this is. The skin of the Great Sandworm, but it looks weird. And I also really don't need that, but I'm gonna have to agree to delete. I don't even know if I spelled delete right. I was. 
I was like, da la da da hoo da Oh, am I spelling this right? I guess I was. Alright, so now we can head over to the final boss. Uh, who's, uh, hard but not hard at the same time. I mean, I would assume he'd be a pain in the ass, uh, running this back in the day. But, pretty much we just have to wait until we bust him open. As weird as that may sound. Oh, you bitch. Get over here so I can fuck you in my face. Oh, good, we ran into more of them. And got some items I didn't want. I shouldn't be collecting shit here. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Anyone else? No. Okay, yeah, got more items I'm gonna have to delete because I either already have or have no fucking use for. That's fantastic. God damn, I can't dodge these guys to save my life. Say it's some weird shit. Alright, so we head back to the main hall. Then we need to head back up and talk to that little gnome I was talking about earlier, and she will teleport us to the f hall of the final boss. Uh, the secrets to this final boss is that he casts the ability on himself, or he starts with the ability on himself, or this is, maybe it's not ability, it's just how he is. But he pretty much takes like 90 to 99% reduced damage from everything that you throw at him. So even at level 100, not really geared, but, you know, 613 item level. Like, you know, not geared, but almost heroic geared, you know, getting there. <laughs> um, I'm working on it. Uh, even at level 100, he's not going to take any damage from your attacks. I mean, he'll take some, don't get me wrong. It's slow pickings. And then you pretty much, like, daze him or crack him open or some stuff. You, like, get teleported inside his body. Oh, I guess you don't have to. Huh. What the fuck? I couldn't find my way into here last time, and then it's just... What, what did I do differently? Did I, oh, I must have found a different way in. I see. If you go all the way around, you can walk up into the final boss. I see. You don't have to get teleported in, and that's how you get the fuck out. Another way you can do it is you talk to this little dwarf here at the... Not that, not that gnome dwarf. I said dwarf. Uh, that female gnome, she'll teleport you into the place and then I guess you just have to unless you hearth out, you literally have to walk all the way back around, I assume. Not the case. You have to go all the way back around to get back out. So I recommend hearthing out of here. And this is a way out, I don't know. So this is technically the final boss, but this won't this won't be his body for long once you fight off the eye. He's going to transform into his final form. So this motherfucker takes no damage. As you can see, look at I Storm Strike is, did 2,000 damage. It did nothing to this guy. So you just got to keep wailing on him. I figured it's like, oh, I'm just eventually going to break through him. Eventually you wail on him enough, he swallows you up, and you fuck him from the inside. I don't think this counts as water. It does not, and it even does damage to me. So you destroy his tentacles, and that'll like wound him or some shit, and it'll pop you back out of his body. And now he's all purple and stuff. He is in his weakened state, and we can finally do massive damage. Though he will knock you away every now and then, and you just kill him. He's really easy on this. I I have not actually done this quest on this character, so I will put that over there. And he drops some decent looking gear. Is creepy, but this has pretty much been the temple of eh, <laughs> or whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys for the next set of dungeons and raids. Which next we are heading over to the Burning Crusade dungeon and raids. And I can't wait, so I will see you then.